All right, here we have the uh, out of service crossing on Florida State Route 65. In fact, the street has some other name for it, some official names like Big Ben Scenic Byway Forest Trail or something like that. And yes, I am serious on that. But I'm just calling it Florida State Route 65 because that way it's easier to pronounce. Don't see any dot, num dot tags here, so I don't know the dot number for the crossing, but the right here is a Lincoln right here is a Lincoln Industries base on the first signal. Then we've got a safe train gate mechanism which was chained into the up position. Then we've got some progress rail 12 by 24 inch lights, one of which has a safe train visor on it, surprisingly. Safe train background visor. The and they are LED of course with Harman uh, with Harman dotted LEDs. There's a look at the back of that one, which has a bullet hole through it. And in fact, I can even show you the exit where it completely shattered. In fact, I think the bullet may have gone through both lights, it looks like. Right there, we've got a Western Colon Hayes mechanical bell. And the gate lights are dialite gate lights. The gates are changed to the up position, as you can see. And right there, if you look at that LED, you can see where the bullet left both lights. Over here we got uh, another gated signal. It has another Lincoln Industries base. Gate mechanism is also safe tran and it's chained into the up position. There's the safe tran label on the back there. There's where it's chained up. Right there the lights are all more progress rail 12 by 24 inch lights with uh, Harman dotted LEDs. These lights are in somewhat better shape. But there's a dial light, gate light, for this sig which this signal all has dial light gate lights as well. And here the track views, this way is looking south. In fact, this way is looking towards the crossing I recorded. The other, that gate was crossing over the first. I forget the name of the road, unfortunately. That way is looking north toward, but it's looking south towards Port St. Joe. That way is looking north towards along the Apalachicola and northern towards Chattahoochee, Florida. Now you can see here the tracks again are very clean. And it looks like they have some ties or something sitting on the ground over here by the relay case, which is right there. But as you can see, the tracks are extremely rusty. And uh, it looks like there might be something laying on the tracks right down that way. Yeah, there's stuff over the tracks, laying across the tracks there. But it does look like uh, the Apalachicola Northern uh, had plans, has plans or at least had plans that may have unfortunately fallen through to reopen this part of the line at one point in time. Oddly enough, unlike the other crossing I showed you earlier, which is gateless, uh, like I said, there's no dot tat, there's no emergency information posted here, which is a bit weird. So yeah, here's the crossing on Florida State Route 65 in, near Franklin, Florida. Over and out.